Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my friends. Whenever you are watching this video, welcome back to another Mass Time with me, Miss X. I am super excited to have you all here again for the very last time. Congratulations, my friend. You have made it to the end of second grade math. You are now, after this lesson, you're going to be very prepared for third grade math. Let's go ahead and finish off our last lesson of the year very, very strong. Let's begin by looking at our objectives. Remember, our objectives are always broken up into three separate parts so we know exactly how we're going to do something, what it is that we need to understand, and lastly, why we're doing it or why it's important. You may read with me or in your head as I read out loud to you. I will use rectangular arrays to investigate patterns in order to determine if a number is odd or even. Now, we know our objectives. Let's go ahead and review math vocabulary just so that we feel extra ready for the teacher model. Remember, our rows, we can think of them as going from left to right or across or horizontal. As for columns, they go up and down or vertical. Array. Array is a way of organizing a set of objects into a perfect rectangle or square using rows and columns. Now that we've gone over our objectives and our vocabulary, let's begin our teacher model. All right, friends and families, welcome to the teacher model. Let's go ahead and begin by taking a look at what I've written down on our board here. You'll notice that I have three word equations explaining how even and even numbers might combine together, how even and odd numbers might combine together, and then lastly how odd and odd numbers might combine together. We've been exploring even and odd numbers lately in the last few lessons, and now we're going to get a chance to see how they look together and what kind of patterns emerge or come out when we combine them together. Let's begin by making two rows of three. So my first row of three, and then my second row of three. This is going to be my first array. Now for my second array, I'm going to make two rows of four. That's my first row of four. And then I'm going to create my second row of four. First array, second array. Let's see what happens when we add two even numbers together. I know that these numbers are individually even, so I know six is even because each partner, each friend has a partner, and we have the same amount in each row. Same for this array here. We have the same amount in each row or each group, and each friend has a partner. Now, how many tiles do we have all together? If we combine this array and this array, if we put them together, what is the total or whole amount of tiles that we have? Wonderful. It would be 14. So we have six here and eight here. If we combine them together, we would have 14 tiles. Now, is that, is that, Odd or even? Is 14 going to be odd or even? Wonderful. It's going to be even. And we know this because they would have the same amount in each row. And remember, we only look at even numbers through groups of two. Not anything more than that. So when we have 14 in two groups, it's the same amount in each group. Therefore, an even number plus an even number makes another even number. Now, let's go ahead and see what happens when we add an even and an odd number together. So we're working on this sentence next. 
What happens when we add an even and odd number together? This second array here is not quite an odd number yet, so I'm going to go ahead and add one more tile in order to make it odd. Is seven even or odd? It's odd. How many tiles do we have to, all together? I have six here and seven here. How many tiles do we have all together? Wonderful, we have 13 tiles. Is 13 even or odd? Wonderful, it's odd. And how do we know? We know because there is one extra left over and if we were to make two equal groups, it's just not possible. One group will always have more than the other group. And if we push it together like we did the last time, again, there's one odd square out without a partner. And in the first group, there is seven. And in the second group, there's only six. So 13 is odd. And thus, we have figured out that when you combine an even number with an odd number, you get an odd number. Alrighty, moving on. Now, let's see what happens when we add an odd number to another odd number. We made two rows of three in the first array and then two rows of four for the second array. They're not odd yet, but we're going to add one tile to the first. We're going to add one tile to the first array and then we're going to add one tile to the second array. Is seven even or odd? Wonderful, it's odd. And is nine even or odd? It's odd because it doesn't have a partner. Seven doesn't, the last friend here doesn't have a partner either in the number seven. So we have seven in this group, nine in this array. So we have an odd number, odd number. What's our whole amount? 16. And is 16 even or odd? 16 is even because, watch, 16 is even because I can make two equal groups. My first group is my first row and my second group is my second row. And each square has a partner. So we figured out that an odd number plus an odd number gives us an even whole or an even number. As you get ready to move into your independent practice and your exit ticket, please keep these five things in mind. Number one, read the instructions carefully. My friends, this is so, so important. Please do not skip the instructions. Read them and reread them if you need to. Number two, remember that array is a way of organizing a set of objects into a perfect rectangle or square using rows and columns. Number three, on page 264, you will be writing your own equations for the bottom problems. Number four, think carefully about whether a number is odd or even. Number five, if you are not sure whether a number is odd or even, you can check by asking yourself if it can be split into two equal groups and if each friend has a partner. Which pages will you be working on for this lesson? You will be working on pages 263, 264, and 265. If you need access to the worksheets, please cl click the link in the description box below. It will take you to the worksheet. If you don't have a printer, don't worry about it. Just write down the problems on a separate piece of paper and solve it on your own the best that you can. My friends, it has been such an honor to be your math teacher and to support you through math in second grade. I cannot wait for you to show off all of your skills in third grade. Thank you so much for joining me all year. Goodbye.